at the first sight of the particle Spravia Chermite, you will probably think of the Cadillac Gage Commodore family of vehicles. That is understandable, because the Bravia Chermai were originally related to the US M706 program. Portuguese vehicles were developed in the late 1960s by Bravia Lusso to meet the requirements of the Portuguese armed forces. The original Chermite was essentially an unlicensed derivative of Cadillac Gage Commander, assembler and then manufacturer in Portugal with a number of technical innovations and modifications. Launched in 1967, a total of over 600 vehicles were built. They were used primarily by the Portuguese army. During the Portuguese colonial war, they saw fighting in the many conflicts to this day, and many are still in use. Today, it is remembered as a symbol of the Carnation Revolution in April 1974 which destroyed the regime of Salazar, which lasted nearly 40 years. The Chermite has a total of 10 variants, identified in order from V200 to V1000. The variants were developed for use primarily in reconnaissance and APC rounds, while the remaining variants were used for specialized rounds. The basic APC is called the V200. The design of the vehicle was heavily influenced by CCC M706. This is a simple vehicle with four large road wheels installed on each corner of the hull. The Chermite's hull is made of welded steel with an armor capable of defeating 7.62mm NATO ammunition. The driver sits in front of the vehicle with the second crew member normally the commander to his right. Over their positions is a two-piece hatch cover that opens either side of the vehicle. The driver and commander each have a vision block to their front, between which is a single firing part. To the left of the driver and the right of the commander is a vision block and firing part. There is a two-part door in each side of the hull, the upper part opening to the rear and the lower part folding forwards to form a step. There are two vision blocks and two firing parts in each side of the hull, between the front of the vehicle and the side door. Although the appearance of this vehicle has a clear resemblance to the CCC 706, both designs also have significant differences, starting with the longer rear engine compartment ending in a downward slope. On the hull, there are three windows, not two, one of which can be folded up and down. The vehicle weighs from 6.8 tons to 8.5 tons, depending on the version. The length is 5.6 meters, the width is 2.26 meters, and the height is 2.39 meters. The power of the vehicle is provided by a single engine. Initially, Bravia Chermai V200 was equipped with a Chrysler petrol engine. However, in the 1980s, these APCs were equipped with common diesel engine, developing 155 horsepower. The Chermite can reach a maximum speed of 99 km per hour, the operating range of 804 km. The main armament is installed immediately behind the driver's and commander's position. Armament carried depends on the variant. However, this APC is typically armed with a roof-mounted 12.7mm heavy machine gun. Another version, armed with turret-mounted twin 7.62mm machine guns, is also common. The V200 has 11-man capacity. There are numerous firing bars provided for the troops. Occupants enter and leave the vehicle via side door rear doors or roof hatches. If required, the turret can be fitted with a device for launching 560mm anti-personnel, anti-tank, smoke, illuminating or incendiary grenades. The turret can also be fitted with four 3.5-inch rocket launchers either side of the turret, which can be fired from inside the vehicle but are reloaded from outside. A wiring of optional equipment can be fitted 
including an air conditioning system, a fire extinguishing system, and explosion suppression system. Chumai was once exported to Libya. The Libyan government ordered 16 in 1976. However, the order was cancelled after news of the Portuguese government's decision that the same year to establish diplomatic relations with Israel. Only part of the order has been completed, with about 13 or 16 units delivered. 20 V-200 Chumai armor cars were acquired in 1973 by the government of the Philippines for its Philippine army units fighting the Muslim separatist guerrillas in Mindanao during the Moro conflict. But only 13 were actually delivered before the order was cancelled by the Philippine authorities. Chamat also saw action during the Lebanese civil war from 1975 to 1990. 20 V-200 Chumai armor cars were transferred to the internal security forces. During the Battle of the Hotels in October 1975, the internal security force used their own V-200 armor cars alongside launched M-113 and Pernod M-3 VTT armor personnel carriers by the Lebanese army in a successful operation to evacuate more than 200 people, including the staff and residents, most of them tourists trapped in the Holiday Inn and adjoining hotels, located at the Minet El Hassan Hotel district of downtown Beirut. The Lebanese Internal Security Force Command was so impressed by the performance in the field of its V-200 Chumai armor cars. Notably, the Lebanese crews prized the ability of their vehicle's armor hull to withstand in an urban combat environment small arms fire, landmine blast, and even RPC-7 anti-tank rounds. Pearl was the first foreign customer of the Chumat, purchasing in 1970 20V200 armor cars for its Marine Corps. The Chumat was gradually phased out of Portuguese Army service since 2008 and replaced by the Austrian Panther II 8x8 APC, though the last operational Chumat armor cars were only retired in 2016. My video of Bravia Chumai ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.